this video, we will discuss and install the Carlin Combustion Air Proving System, or CAP system. The CAP system is designed to work with the Carlin Pro X 70200 primary control. It utilizes the BV contacts and block vent feature to shut down the oil burner in the event combustion air supply is interrupted or blocked. If no airflow is detected during startup, the Pro X 70200 will abort startup and shut down the burner. If the air intake is not blocked during startup, but becomes blocked during a normal run cycle and remains blocked for 20 seconds, the oil burner will shut down and make up to three attempts to restart. The Carlin cap system works together with the Carlin burner cover and back plate to form a sealed intake system that can be connected directly to the outside for combustion air. The cap system is available in several models as a cap kit standalone or with a burner cover and back plate. To install a cap system, follow these simple steps. Before you begin, Disconnect all power to avoid electrical shock or damage to the system. Mount the burner cover back plate and fill a plate to the burner chassis. Use the included plastic rivets to align both plates. Route the oil lines and oil wiring through one of the knockouts in the back plate. Use the grommets and plastic plugs provided to seal all openings in the back plate. Be certain to install the rubber filler into the bottom of the burner cover. Select the best orientation for installing the air inlet adapter. The cap system adapter may be installed in either vertical or horizontal. A 2 inch by 4 inch knockout is provided in the back cover plate. Note that the maximum length of pipe from the burner to the outdoor termination should not be greater than 80 linear feet. Each 90 degree elbow adds 10 linear feet to the total length. Once the air inlet is secure, slide the connecting flange onto the air inlet until secure. Use 3 inch Schedule 40 or Schedule 80 PVC pipe. A tight fit and PVC solvent cement is necessary to assure a leak-free connection. Do not glue the PVC pipe to the connecting flange. The outdoor termination provided uses a bird screen for protection from any nesting critters. The outside termination must be 12 inches above grade or the highest anticipated snow level and away from locations where snow drifts may accumulate. Combustion air intake should not be any closer than 12 inches to any vent inlet or outlet. Always use sweep elbows for all combustion air piping. With all intake piping connections in place, check for proper support and check all joints. Route the wire leads from the air inlet switch to the BV contacts on the Pro-X 70200 primary control. Only a Pro-X 70200 manufactured after September 2018 or later will have the block vent air intake feature. To activate this feature, you must enter the setup menu. The setup menu cannot be accessed while the burner is running. Eliminate the call for heat for standby mode and press the up and right arrow keys together for two seconds. Now using the right arrow key, scroll through the different settings until you reach vent input. Now use the down arrow key and scroll down to vent intake. While intake is still displayed, press the right arrow key again to make the change. The word entered will appear indicating the change has been made. Press and hold the left arrow key for three seconds to exit the setup menu. 
Now mount the burner cover by aligning the two holes in the top flange of the cover with the two mounting tabs on the back plate. Pivot the cover into position onto the oil burner and tighten the mounting screws located in the center of the cover. Tighten securely to prevent room air from leaking into the cover. The oil burner is now ready to operate. Since adding a cover and a ducted air intake, the combustion characteristics of the appliance may change. So it is important that a combustion test is performed to ensure proper operation. Outside air for combustion will fluctuate by season and will significantly impact combustion. Use the table based on outside air temperature at the time of setup to ensure proper burner setup. When testing combustion, always reinstall the cover after making adjustments. It is sometimes necessary to repeat this process more than once for proper setup. With the burner setup complete, the final step is to test the cap system operation. With the burner firing, move the test lever to a test position. Following a 20 second delay, the burner will shut down. The Pro X70200 will allow the burner to recycle up to three times in order to prevent nuisance shutdowns caused by temporary blockage or high winds. If the blockage persists, the burner will shut down and a lockout will occur. The cap system operation should be tested at least annually. The ducting and outdoor termination should also be inspected annually. If the burner does not shut down during testing, check that the burner cover is tightly secured and properly sealed. Check for proper installation of all components in the burner seal kit. Check that the correct air pressure switch is installed. Based on firing rate of the burner, especially if the firing rate of the burner has changed. And check that all wiring is correct. You may refer to the installation and operating manual for additional information or call our tech support line at 800-989-2275. Thank you for choosing Carlin.